So we'll start with a verbose mountain of word soup. Trino is a ludicrously fast, massively parallel processing, distributed SQL query engine designed to query large data sets from many disparate data sources. If you understood all of that, congratulations, you can click right off this video. But if you want to dive a little deeper into what all of that means, or feel a little lost amidst all the buzzword soup, then allow me to explain. I'm Cole Bowden from Starburst, and let's talk about Trino. We'll start with the core of it, that it's a ludicrously fast query engine. Trino runs SQL queries. That means you write the SQL, you give it to Trino to run, and it returns results exactly as you'd expect. However, it doesn't store any data, and it's not a database. It's just a query engine that will query your data where it already exists, wherever that may be. And it does so ludicrously quickly and at massive scale. Trino was originally developed to query Facebook's colossal data warehouse within seconds to minutes, and it's only gotten faster since then. It excels at ad hoc analytics. So if you have data scientists, analysts, or engineers who want to be able to write their queries and get results back very quickly, look no further than Trino to get your data into their hands. But if you also care about moving mountains of data where reliability is more of a concern than speed, Trino also comes with a fault tolerant execution mode, which can handle that too. And speaking of data, let's talk about what many disparate data sources means. Trino supports a lot of them, from traditional relational databases to non-relational databases, to data lakes, to in-memory data stores, and more. And because Trino understands and interacts with these data sources directly, it's able to query all of them with the same unified ANSI standard SQL dialect, even for the data sources that wouldn't traditionally support SQL queries. Even better, if you have data spread across several different data sources, one Trino query written with joins can access these data sources all at once and return unified results, eliminating the need to run massive migrations or create costly pipelines in an attempt to centralize your data. With Trino, you can query your data where it already lives in place and get unified results back without needing to bother with any of that. The industry tends to refer to this as data federation, and with Trino, you can run robust federated queries. In addition to that though, Trino shines when it is querying data lakes specifically. Hive is where it all started, and Trino is one of the best ways to query that. But modern data lakes, using technologies like Iceberg, Delta Lake, and Hoodie are even better pairings for Trino. If you can afford to centralize a large chunk of your data into a data lake using something like Iceberg to store that data, and then Trino to query it, you've set up one of the best, fastest open source data stacks out there. Which gets us to the last thing to emphasize about Trino. Yeah, I mean, that sounds cool and all, but like, how much is it going to cost me? It's open source. That means it's free, open, and available, and will always be that way forever. Contributions to Trino come from companies all over the globe, both large and small, keeping it up to date with connectors for new data sources, modern SQL features, modern Java features, and more. Plus, because it's open source, if you really know what you're doing, it can be modified or extended to fit your needs. If you want to get your hands on Trino right away, here at Starburst we offer an improved version of Trino called Starburst Galaxy, and it has a free tier that is the easiest and quickest way to get started with Trino. If you want to learn more, you can also check out the Trino website, the Starburst website, and the rest of our Trino 101 series. Make sure to check the description for links. There's a lot of them. 